Grumblefoot in normal mode. Grumblefoot is the second troll that you will attempt to defeat in the troll caves out of three. Normal mode is the easiest version of Grumblefoot. In this episode, like the previous one, I will show you two battles my team had with Grumblefoot so that you can hear what the fight with Grumblefoot is like. The first one is our first ever attempt at Grumblefoot, and the second is our quickest time defeating Grumblefoot. And now here is the first fight with Grumblefoot that my team ever had in normal mode. Following this will be our most successful battle with Grumblefoot. With swift motion, Shadowfax executes a level 3 cloud against Grumblefoot. <laughs> Hit. 3,555 damage. Grumblefoot's luck decreases by 60%. With a mighty swing of his hammer, Grumblefoot aims at Shadowfax. <laughs> but he skillfully avoids the strike. Now Tyson prepares. As if by magic, three flawless doubles of Tyson suddenly appear. Now God of Thunder braces for the next move. With a swift strike, he aims for Grumblefoot. Critical hit, 27,960 damage. Now Winston prepares. While no one is watching, he seizes the opportunity and sets up a level three trap. Now Flower Princess braces for the next move. He reaches for his level 3 bow, focusing on Grumblefoot. Hit. 72,223 damage. Now Shadowfax positions himself. He performs a feint, and then delivers Clout level 3 to Grumblefoot. Hit. 3,555 damage. Grumblefoot's luck decreases by 60%. Grumblefoot is readying for the next offensive move and unfortunately steps into Winston's level 3 trap. 9,510 damage points. All efforts are in vain. Grumblefoot remains ensnared in the trap. Now Tyson prepares. He swings his sword in a wide arc towards Grumblefoot. Hit. 6,769 damage. Now God of Thunder prepares. With a swift thrust, he aims for Grumblefoot. Critical hit, 27,960 damage. Now Winston prepares. He performs a feint and then delivers Clout level three to Grumblefoot. Solid hit, 10,699 damage. Grumblefoot's luck decreases by 60%. Now Flower Princess prepares. With a swift strike, he aims for Grumblefoot. 10,031 damage. Now Shadowfax positions himself. Shadowfax gathers magical energies and forms them into a protective shield of level 3 around God of Thunder. With swift movements, Grumblefoot tries to extricate himself from the trap. With a tremendous effort, Grumblefoot breaks free. Without warning, he brings his hammer crashing down on Flower Princess. <laughs> but the swing is dodged nimbly. Now it's Tyson's turn. With a swift strike, he aims for Grumblefoot. Hit, 6,769 damage. Now God of Thunder prepares. He reaches for his level three bow, focusing on Grumblefoot. Critical hit, 51,657 damage. Now Winston positions himself. He raises his sword high and hurls it with full force upon Grumblefoot. Well aimed. 5,943 damage. Now it's Flower Princess's turn. He spots a weakness in Grumblefoot's defense. Without hesitation, he attempts to pierce him. But Grumblefoot can dodge the blade effortlessly. Now it's Shadowfax's turn. He performs a feint and then delivers Clout level 3 to Grumblefoot. 3,555 damage. Grumblefoot's luck decreases by 60%. Grumblefoot raises his arms and the powers of the earth respond. Small and large stones detach from the cave walls and float towards him, drawn by an invisible force. The stones swirl around Grumblefoot, 
beginning to merge with his stone armor. They merge seamlessly, adding layer upon layer, thickening and strengthening his already massive armor. Each new stone adds extra protection, making the armor even more resilient. His defense has increased by 20%. Caution! Grumblefoot has entered a frenzy, becoming a significant threat. Now Tyson prepares. With a fluid motion, he draws his blade and attacks Grumblefoot. Critical hit. 24,791 damage. Grumblefoot now has 115,023 health points left. Now God of Thunder braces for the next move. With a fluid motion, he draws his steel and attacks Grumblefoot. Struck. 5,020 damage. Grumblefoot now has 110,003 health points left. Now it's Winston's turn. He performs a feint and then delivers clout level 3 to Grumblefoot. <laughs> Struck. 9,151 damage. Grumblefoot's luck decreases by 60%. Grumblefoot now has 100,852 health points left. Now Flower Princess positions himself. He spots a weakness in Grumblefoot's defense. Without hesitation, he attempts to pierce him. But Grumblefoot can dodge the blade effortlessly. Now Shadowfax positions himself. Shadowfax concentrates magical energies and forms a protective level 3 shield around himself. Grumblefoot stomps with immense force on the ground and his massive step triggers an earthquake. The cave trembles under the force of his stone feet, the tremors spreading, and large boulders detach from the ceiling, crashing down upon the knights. A total of 2,867 damage points hit Shadowfax. Shadowfax has been safeguarded by the magical shield, Tyson is struck with 7,069 points of damage. A total of 1,852 damage points hit God of Thunder. The magical barrier has shielded God of Thunder from the worst. Winston sustains 7,656 points of damage. 5,983 points of damage are inflicted on Flower Princess. Now Tyson prepares. He raises his sword high and hurls it with full force upon Grumblefoot. <laughs> Struck. 5,800 damage. Grumblefoot now has only 95,052 health points left. Now it's God of Thunder's turn. He reaches for his level 3 bow, focusing on Grumblefoot. Hit. 36,147 damage. Grumblefoot now has 58,905 health points left. Now Winston braces for the next move. He raises his sword high and hurls it with full force upon Grumblefoot. Struck. 5,084 damage. Grumblefoot now has 53,821 health points left. Now it's Flower Princess's turn. He spots a weakness in Grumblefoot's defense. Without hesitation, he attempts to pierce him. The blade only pierces through the first layer of stony armor. Now Shadowfax braces for the next move. With practiced hands, he grabs a level 3 bandage and tends to God of Thunder. 1,852 health points have been restored. Grumblefoot raises his mighty arms, chanting in an ancient language that makes the cave air vibrate. Around him, stones and boulders gather, drawn by an invisible force. They float and spin, merging in a whirlwind of dust and rock, until the form of a massive stone golem emerges. The golem, born from the depths of the earth and animated by Grumblefoot's dark magic, rises. Its eyes glow with an alien energy, and it obediently follows the command of its master, ready to enter the battle. Now Tyson prepares. With a swift thrust, he aims for Grumblefoot. Critical hit. 24,791 damage. Grumblefoot now has 29,030 health points left. Now God of Thunder positions himself. He conjures a fireball of level 3 and hurls it straight at Grumblefoot. <laughs> Grumblefoot is seized by a fiery inferno. 3,413 damage. 
Grumblefoot now has only 25,617 health points left. Now Winston prepares. He performs a feint and then delivers clout level 3 to Grumblefoot. <laughs> Struck. 9,151 damage. Grumblefoot's luck decreases by 60%. Grumblefoot now has 16,466 health points left. Now Flower Princess braces for the next move. He reaches for his level 3 bow, focusing on Grumblefoot. Hit. 62,218 damage. Grumblefoot has been defeated. Now Shadowfax positions himself. With practiced hands, he reaches for a level 3 bandage and administers first aid. 2,867 health points have been restored. The golem thrusts its massive stone hand in a swift motion towards Flower Princess. Just as the stone fist comes crashing down, Flower Princess rolls to the side, evading the strike. Now Tyson prepares. With a powerful motion, he draws his sword and attacks Stone Minion. Hit. 13,580 damage. Stone Minion now has 4,360 health points left. Now God of Thunder prepares. With a swift strike, he aims for Stone Minion. And lands a blow causing 11,924 damage. Stone Minion has been defeated. Victory. The knights have defeated the enemy. After Grumblefoot, the mighty rock guardian is defeated in fierce combat. His massive, stony body begins to tremble and slowly crumbles apart. The hefty rocks that once formed his formidable figure fall to the ground with a clattering sound, revealing something unexpected. Amidst the rubble, where the golem's heart once beat, lies an old, weathered treasure chest. It is ornately decorated, with iron-clad edges and strange symbols carved into the wood. The chest appears as if it had been guarded by the golem for centuries, almost as if it were a part of him. With a soft click, the chest opens as if guided by an invisible hand. God of Thunder approaches the chest and peers inside. He discovers 51,980 gold, 308 diamonds, 49 berry stews and 13 honeycombs. Every knight receives 10,396 gold, 61 diamonds, 9 berry stews, and 2 honeycombs. After the fall of Grumblefoot, the second guardian of the shadowy caves, the knights gather around the sea's treasures. They fairly divide the loot among themselves, each receiving their share of the hard-won reward. Yet, in their hearts, tension grows. They know their task is not yet complete. In the silence following the battle, they feel the growing tension and anticipation. A final guardian, the most mysterious and perhaps most powerful of all, still waits in the depths of the cave. The air around them seems to shimmer with unspoken promises and looming dangers. With every breath, they steel themselves for the upcoming confrontation. Their gazes are firm and determined, their weapons ready. A brief nod among them seals their silent agreement to move on. They leave the site of victory, their torches lighting the way as they delve deeper into the dark heart of the cave, ready to face the last and greatest mystery. You should have noticed that between Tooth Ripper and Grumblefoot, Grumblefoot is more difficult, as it takes more time to defeat him, due to either one of two things. He's stronger and more defensive, or he uses certain skills of his own that are more difficult to combat. And now for my team's best battle with Grumblefoot in normal mode. Winston quickly grabs a thorium spear and hurls it powerfully towards Grumblefoot. Ah! <laughs> The spear partially pierces through Grumblefoot's armor, reducing his defense by 15% and inflicting 63,740 damage. In a burst of anger, Grumblefoot hurls his hammer with raw power at Winston. But he leaps to the side. Now Tyson prepares. 
He raises his sword high and brings it down with full force upon Grumblefoot and lands a blow causing 11,460 damage. Now Flower Princess positions himself. He swings his blade in a wide arc towards Grumblefoot. Hit, 21,925 damage. Now God of Thunder prepares. With a fluid motion, he draws his sword and attacks Grumblefoot. Well aimed, 12,555 damage. Now Shadowfax prepares. He molds his hands into a sphere, creating a level 3 fireball, which he hurls directly at Grumblefoot. Ah! Grumblefoot bursts into flames. 4,525 damage points. Now Winston braces for the next move. He snatches a thorium spear and throws it with great might at Grumblefoot. The spear partially pierces through Grumblefoot's armor, reducing his defense by 15% and inflicting 72,060 damage. Without warning, Grumblefoot brings his hammer crashing down on Winston. But the swing is dodged nimbly. Now Tyson braces for the next move. He snatches a thorium spear and throws it with great might at Grumblefoot. The spear partially pierces through Grumblefoot's armor, reducing his defense by 15% and inflicting 57,070 damage. Grumblefoot now has only 35% of his health points left. Now it's Flower Princess's turn. He swings his blade in a high arc towards Grumblefoot. Hit, 27,265 damage. Grumblefoot now has only 28% of his health points left. Now God of Thunder positions himself. With a level 3 bow in hand, he directs his aim at Grumblefoot. Hit, 114,860 damage. Grumblefoot has been defeated. The Knights stand as the undisputed victors. have risen three levels. After Grumblefoot, the mighty rock guardian is defeated in fierce combat. His massive, stony body begins to tremble and slowly crumbles apart. The hefty rocks that once formed his formidable figure fall to the ground with a clattering sound, revealing something unexpected. Amidst the rubble, where the golem's heart once beat, lies an old, weathered treasure chest. It is ornately decorated, with iron-clad edges and strange symbols carved into the wood. The chest appears as if it had been guarded by the golem for centuries, almost as if it were a part of him. With a soft click, the chest opens as if guided by an invisible hand. God of Thunder approaches the chest and peers inside. He discovers 58,420 gold, 399 diamonds, a crusty bread recipe, six honeycombs, and 196 throwing axes. Every knight receives 11,684 gold, 79 diamonds, one honeycomb, and 39 throwing axes. The toss of the dice now decides who the crusty bread recipe goes to. Winston has rolled a 49. Tyson has rolled a 89. Flower Princess rolls a 69. God of Thunder has rolled a 21. Shadowfax has rolled a 29. Tyson wins the Krusty Bread recipe. When it comes to Grumblefoot, the best skills you could possibly use are Trap. Trap is very useful for getting him trapped so that he may not stomp. This is especially valuable in Hero Mode, which we will show you at a later time. Clout is good to have too because this reduces his luck, especially by 60% if you have level 3. Curse of Agony works very well too if you have that and the highest level of it. The ones you want to kind of avoid are Fireball unless you have no choice. 
Fireball doesn't do much damage to him as he is very defensive against it. It still hurts him, but nowhere near as much as it does um, Tooth Ripper. So that is not as effective. It's always good to have the weakest of your knights, as I said in a previous episode, use either bandage or magic shield if you think it's necessary. Try a combination of different skills and see what works for you, but I've seen the most effective being trap, clout, bow shot, and curse of agony when it comes to, really, this one in particular, but all three trolls have their advantages and disadvantages, weakness and strengths. So, a combination of figuring out what to do for your particular knights in the group that you're in, their strengths, and their weaknesses. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Until next time, may legends be born.